Hello everyone, Antonio here from Pretty Awesome Studios, and recently I got a couple private messages wondering how I did this fisheye effect uh, at the end of one of our episodes, and I figured I'd do a video on how to achieve the effect. Uh, not only just telling you what buttons to click and so on, but also explaining a little bit of why I chose to do <clears throat> the individual things that I'm doing to get the effect. Basically telling you how and why. Uh, so the three effects I used are Cubic Lens Distortion, Bezier Warp, assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Bulge. Uh, cubic Lens Distortion is not a plugin that you can get uh, by default in um, After Effects, you have to buy it online. But the great thing about this is it's name your own price. Um, yeah, so I recommend buying it, uh, but only if you like it after you see the effect I achieved with it in the video. Um, and I'll put a download link in the description below. So. Um, yeah, uh, what I used the cubic lens distortion for mainly was a, for the natural lens distortion that it does create, because that's what it's supposed to do. But on top of that, also the chromatic aberration. And uh, if you don't know what chromatic aberration is, you've seen it before. Uh, basically, it, you can see in the image here that the red, green, and blue, um, in some cases purple, green, and blue, <clears throat> depending on the lens and the type of lens, it's different but it's a natural effect that you get on either very crappy lenses or really, really wide lenses, like a fisheye. So, um, let's take your clip and we'll go in and drag this one here and recreate it in the same clip and apply the effect. So, like other tutorials you probably have seen, you're gonna uh, go for the Bezier Warp, toss that in, and let's see, bring this out and fit it and just drag it here. Uh, for me, I don't want it to be exactly perfect because I don't want to show any of the vignette. Um, when I used to do skateboarding videos and all that, um, I preferred it, but for more of the cinematic approach for this, I'd prefer not to. But I mean, as you can see, there are there is some distortion at the very edges of the frame. It's not a whole lot, but it's some. Um, this is where most people just kind of stop and, okay, I'm done. But there's so much more you can do with it and up the quality on this. So just dragging it in and all that, very simple, easy, straightforward to do. And then we're gonna go for our cubic lens distortion and drop that in. And uh, put this up at the top. Uh, I just prefer that order of effects. And uh, in this one I did, I think around 25 or something like that for the aberration. And you can see the effect instantly around the very edges. And this isn't necessary, like this is only a stylistic thing that I like, but it's there, and it also does actually affect the, uh, see along the lines here, it does have some effect. So what you're doing with this effect is it's still very subtle, but you're pulling the edges here down to make it, the field of view look wider, and also to help achieve the fisheye effect. Um, yeah, see, it's it's the way it's actually curving the, uh, the edges of the frame. And also one thing I must mention is this really works well for still frame stuff, but you'll never achieve the same effect you'll get with an actual fisheye. So if you're trying to completely emulate a fisheye lens, honestly, you probably need one. Um, and if you do machinima work like this, I did film this at the highest field of view I could, which in uh, in Minecraft is Quake Pro. I think it's like 120. So yeah, that's that. And the last thing we're going to add is our bulge. And in my personal opinion, I think this is what really brings the effect together, because, turning this off, the center of the part of the image has a little bit of bulging around the edges here, but it, it doesn't really look all that great, in my opinion. So I just kind of pull this out. And then we're going to go in, put, put that on high, taper radius, nothing because we don't need that, and put the bulge height on something like 5. And then enable the effect. A little bit too high, a little bit too high. So one, still too much, and you just kind of, I, I prefer to start from a very extreme and slowly work my way down. So deselect it, and also we can taper a little bit at the top if you want to get the very tip top of this frame even, and fit. So you can see what the effect the bulge has. In this circumstance, I really think it worked because I, my big thing was making sure that down here and over here bulged out. Because in a real fish islands, that's what would happen. So you can see the effect. 
Uh, and again, this is really simple. And what I did is I recorded this in 1080 and then cropped it to 720 and it worked out great. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask. If there's anything you felt that I didn't explain clearly enough, um, I will. Um, also, one thing to note, you do have to mess around a lot with the radius, because you can see here with this, it doesn't look right with the actual bulge. So, I mean, you can pull that out and adjust it more if you want to, but um, yeah, it's just messing around and adjusting. All right, thanks everybody for watching, and if you'd like to see any other tutorials relating to After Effects or Adobe Premiere and having to do with, you know, video editing in general and also with some of this uh, stuff we're doing here, thanks for watching, everyone.